Amaranthus reflexus. Nickname for this plant is male finger. It is more stout and bristly than the female finger, the Amaranthus hybridus. This is part one and in part two I will be sharing a mnemonic or memory technique to help you commit to memory the more distinguishing characteristics of this plant and its edible parts. Be sure to watch all of part one so that part two is more understandable. The mnemonic will also aid you in identifying not only this amaranthus but all amaranthus. There are over 60 species none of which are poisonous, all are edible, and are used identically. Amaranthus reflectus, or male finger, is an erect weed, three to six feet tall. Notice the larger leaves near the base smaller leaves are near the top. It bears what's called a flower spike at the top of the plant and from where the leaf stalks meets the stem. These flower spikes are composed of tiny individual flowers. This is a picture of where the leaf stalk meets the stem. We see a much smaller flower spike. The leaves are on long leaf stalks or petioles. Notice how the leaf stalks cause the leaves to droop somewhat. The leaves bear pennant or feather like veins, which are parallel. After the flowers are pollinated by the wind, they are replaced by a bladder-like sac, which holds a single seed. The figure here on the right is a diagram of a flower. The flowers of male finger have no petals. They do have what's called sepals and bracts. The sepals on the inside have rounded to flat tips. The sepal represented here on the left. We see that the tips are rounded. Sometimes the tips are flattened. This is one of the major ways you can determine the difference between the male finger high reflexus from the female finger, the hybridus. The hybridus sepals are pointed. The bracts on the outside 
of the male finger are pointed and they are one and a half to two inches longer than the sepals here. Whereas the hybridus or female finger, the bracts are also pointed, but they are not as tall. The bracts of the female finger are the same length or just slightly taller than the sepals. But again, here on the male finger, hydroflexus, the bracts you will find are one and a half or two times taller than the sepals. The sac inside splits in the middle. This is called the cap. And inside each bladder like sac contains a single seed. This is a picture of the bladder-like sac. We see there on the left the bracts, which are one and a half to two inches taller than the sepals, and the single, single seed that is held by this sac after it splits down the middle. The seeds are very small. They're shiny round, somewhat flattened as we see here. They can be dark brown to black. The leaves are ovate to elliptical to lance shaped. The underside of each leaf bears pennant or feather-like raised veins. The male finger has hair lining the veins underneath each leaf. Small pubescent hairs We notice also the long petioles or leaf stalks, which do cause the leaves, especially the lower leaves near the base, to droop somewhat. Also notice the underside of the leaf is lighter in color, whereas the top side of the leaf is a dark green. Notice the long petioles or leaf stalks and the flower spikes which develop from where the leaf stalk meets the stem. The leaf stalks are usually green but they can be red. The stalks or the main stem of the male finger is usually more hairy near the top and less hairy near the base. Small hairs, very pubescent. The leaves are wavy around the edges, somewhat toothed. You see the somewhat toothed or minor teeth around the edges here, somewhat wavy, parallel veins. These veins are raised on the other underside of each leaf. Notice the lobes as well, somewhat lobed.
the younger leaves can be notched at the tip. They usually are, in fact, notched at the tip. The male finger also bears a tap root, which is shallow, but and not always, but usually is tinted red or pink. The edible parts of this plant are the leaves, the stems, the root, and the seeds. This was part one. Be sure to watch part two for the mnemonic of how to commit to memory the most distinguishing characteristics of this plant and all of over 60 species of amaranths, all of which are edible, used identically, medicinally, and as far as consumption. To learn how to prepare these edible parts, go to survivalplantsmemorycourse.com, find Amaranthus reflexus through the index of plants link, and methods of preparation will be found on the fact sheet. Thank you for watching part one.